as I start to like this, my first video essay went up 12 days ago, and it's currently on 130 views. What you won't know about that is it took me two months to upload, because I suffer from the great issue of perfectionism. Now I should say that I'm incredibly proud of how well that video has done. I sat and thought that it would get no more 20 views for a while, but it wasn't even worth the work. I'd actually written the script in 20 minutes for a media studies project, but I wrote too much and I missed the point of the assignment. What I was supposed to do was a 3 minute documentary with interviews and a conclusion. Then I recorded it 3 weeks later. 2 weeks after that I sent my first video drop to a couple of people to get opinions. Most people told me that it was really good and that they enjoyed it, which was nice, but not what I was looking for. I would search for a reason to scrap the project, because it would never be right. My good friend Colin walked me through everything I needed to change. He helped me bring out more emotions and share my real thoughts. He's probably reading this script, or watching this video, so um, hi Colin. What do I need to change? I'm really lost currently. The moment I'd published a video, I was instantly telling people it just wasn't worth a watch. There were so many issues with it. I'm like that with a lot of my projects, if those projects ever see light of day. This isn't my first video essay, I've scrapped many over the past year. Maybe I'll return to them, but I find it unlikely. I'm not the only person who does this. Just look at all the kickstarters left to rot and unfinished books. When you lose passion, it's incredibly easy to just give up and move on to the next thing. Very much like the king in the unfinished one. I've moved on when I've started to not like things, though I certainly hope I noticed my wife being pregnant. Playing through the game, it was easy to see myself in that decrepit man. Like him, I'm arrogant, impatient, and struggle to finish anything. As I played through the King's Kingdoms, it was hard not to see parallels to past projects of mine. The first kingdom is abandoned because he believes no colour was worthy of it. I scrapped four other video essays because I didn't trust my ability to make an edit, and I still don't. The Second Kingdom was left behind as he believed the people didn't appreciate it. I stopped writing my blog because I believed nobody was reading it, or even cared. I went as far as deleting it, which I regret these days, because I don't have much to look back on from my early days of DMing, and I'm a vain type of person. Then the King decided what he really wanted to do was leave a mark on the world. So he made himself a girlfriend. They fell in love, but soon he neglected her in favour of making gifts he thought would appease her. Instead of this being about not facial projects, it becomes about losing sight. My early days on YouTube, and even this channel are the same. I stopped making and doing the things I enjoyed because I was trying to chase some goal. I remember pushing for things to be made a certain way to conform, rather than developing my own style. I haven't left this close yet. I spent ages working on the first video trying to mimic other styles, in hopes that it'd blow up. So when I uploaded it and rewatched it, I was disappointed in myself. I just planned to abandon everything and do something new, different, something that might blow up. But unlike with King, I let other people in. I'd received so many comments from people who I'd done a good job and I realised that not blowing up instantly didn't matter. I shouldn't be chasing some made up algorithm. Instead I should be proud that I've had 130 people sit down and listen to my ramblings. After attempting and failing to build a hundred foot tower of himself, he confines himself to rest, only being awoken by the protagonist, where he talks of dreaming about his own funeral and how nobody showed up. He comes to accept that he spent his life doing anything he could do to impress people, but never let them see it. In many ways, that was my wake up call. I'd been working on this homebrew DD world for over a year, and in September, I finally sat down with a group of friends to play it. Since September, we've had four sessions. Partially because people were busy, but mostly because I had these big plans for the campaign. I was scared it wouldn't go like it has in my head. I'd of course talk to them about my plans for each character, and I just wasn't sure we'd ever get there. Till one cold night hiking, one of my friends told me that we need to get there, that we need to make it our goal. Within 15 minutes, we organised a session, and while it wasn't anything special, I could tell they were having fun, and I realised I missed the point of it all. It was never supposed to be about the big story that they're going to have later. It's about the fun story they're having currently. And since then, I've tried to organise more sessions. It's gone. <laughs>
not gone great, but we're working on it. And I'm finally happy with letting them have this story because I know they're going to shape it in their own way and they're going to enjoy it just as much as I did thinking about it. The king finally gave up his paintbrush and I finally gave up on my spinning plates to just focus on doing one thing at a time with the people I love. It's difficult, but until I'm satisfied, I'm not going to stop trying. And like the namesake of the game, the ideas still live on. The work is always there. It's just waiting for someone to come back and finish it. That probably felt like a couple different endings. And I promise you, this is the final paragraph of my script. As I mentioned earlier, I'm incredibly touched that people took time out to watch my video and support my projects. And I want to make a promise that I will be doing stuff that I find fun or stress relieving. But I'm always going to take on suggestions, so if there's something you've played that touched you or moved you, give me a shout. I probably won't make a video on it, but I do love a good narrative. Also, I learned how to sew, and I made a hat, and I'm super proud of that. And finally, <laughs> I've just got a new microphone set up, so it should sound better in theory. But it could probably not, because I'm not very adept with this sort of stuff. Thank you, and good night.